Norway is home to some of the world's most stunning scenery, but it's not exactly easy to get around. For centuries, humans have found navigating its network of glacial valleys known as fjords to be a serious challenge. But some massive infrastructure projects are now making this incredible terrain more accessible than ever before. A new coastal highway will transform road travel in the region, connecting seven cities and eliminating ferry crossings, cutting journey times in half. And now a one-of-a-kind sea route is being built as well, the world's first full-scale tunnel big enough for a cruise ship. It's been talked about for years, but now the Stadship Tunnel has finally been approved and work will start in 2022. Costing over 300 million US dollars and taking three to four years to complete, the project will see a new mile-long shipping route carved under the Stadthavet Peninsula at its narrowest point. Now, we've built tunnels for boats before, like this one on the Canal du Midi in France, but the Norway project takes things to a whole different level. After all, there's a pretty big difference between a small tourist boat and a cruise ship. Measuring 37 meters high by 26.5 meters wide and with a depth of 12 meters, the tunnel will be big enough for ships up to 16,000 tons to pass through. This crazy project is the answer to a problem that's existed for more than a thousand years. Quite literally since the time of the Vikings, traversing this part of the sea has meant a treacherous journey for boats. With frequent bad weather, tough tidal conditions and strong currents, this stretch of water is one that many ship's captains would much rather avoid. Bypassing it could be lucrative for the country's tourism sector, while other industries and trades would benefit from safer passage. It's an extreme challenge that's always required a pretty extreme solution. While the Vikings are thought to have managed by physically dragging their boats over the land, it's now possible to go through it, bringing a two-hour trip down to about 12 minutes. Although contractors are yet to be appointed, the plan is for the upper section to be excavated first in a similar way to conventional road tunnelling, with underground drilling and pallet rigs. There's plenty of expertise for this in the area, Norway's home to over a thousand road tunnels across the country. Construction's likely to start at opposite ends of the peninsula, creating two tunnels that join in the middle. The roof will then have to be reinforced with concrete for stability before service routes are added in, allowing excavated material to be carried out. Works will then gradually move downwards layer by layer. To dig out the tunnel floor, temporary barriers or coffer dams will need to be placed at each end of the terrace stone entrances designed by Snehetta. These will keep the water out and allow the excavation below sea level to take place. When the work's fully finished and all the services like lighting are installed and working, the tunnel can be slowly flooded before the coffer dams are cleared away. In total, about 8 million tonnes of rock will be removed and partly recycled for future projects. That's equivalent to around 35 of the world's biggest cruise ships, or 106 million Tom Cruises. Taking material away from the site is far from simple due to the lack of decent road infrastructure around the peninsula, and barges could play a role in the process. As with any world first, extensive research and testing was done to make sure the project was actually possible, long before approval was given. This included building a mock-up of the tunnel at a test pool in Trondheim. By passing models of ships along it and simulating various conditions, researchers found that vessels could make a safe trip through the real tunnel without hitting the walls. A digital model of the tunnel was also used with a simulator to visualize how ships would approach it and to see how traffic could be managed. From this testing, a traffic light system will now be put in place and five ships will be able to make the trip each hour with a distance of at least 400 meters between them. But this could be flexible. Smaller vessels may be allowed to go through side by side, which would boost capacity further. Recent events in Suez put the importance of all this testing into context. When things go wrong on critical shipping routes, the trade implications and internet memes can spiral. With preparations now done, all eyes will be on Norway from the project's start right up to its expected completion in 2025. If this Mission Impossible works, it'll surely only be a matter of time before other countries borrow the idea 
and try something similar. While the coastal highway is far bigger and more expensive, this project will be no less of an achievement. It may have taken a millennium to figure out, but building a whole new kind of infrastructure is rarely smooth sailing. If you enjoyed this video and you want to get more from the definitive video channel for construction, subscribe to the B1M.